Can you talk? No. Are you? Okay. Uh, do you want to tell them something? Because you set it up. Guys, I need you to be completely honest with me, okay? Does it look cool when I sit like this? Because I feel like, I feel like I should look like I'm in control. But I'm also looking at a reflection and I look like a Lego man. So, I'm gonna do it for today, okay? I will continue sitting this way. But this is mutual trust and respect right here, right? If I look stupid, guys, tell me. I need to hear it and you guys need to be the ones to tell me. All that aside, welcome back to the Daily Check-In. It's Monday. Did you guys have a great day or what? It's so weird. It's like I'm talking to Dora level style where it's just quiet in the end. Um, I really hope that everybody had a great kickoff this week. I know Mondays, a lot of people, like Garfield, I make the joke too. It's easy to say, I hate Mondays. Um, but really, if you approach it with a big smile and try to handle every situation the best you can to the best of your ability, it can be a great day. It can be perfectly fine. I, uh, I had a busy Monday. Just a lot of back and forth, meeting to meeting, talking to talking, coffee to tea, caffeine to caffeine. I'm a little overwired today. You're probably going to see that through the eyes. I got a crazy stare going right now, so I apologize for that. But it's been, it's been really amazing. Uh, and especially me, somebody who stays locked in so much, you know, when I get to go out and even for work meetings and talking to people, you know, throughout the company, it's just, it's nice, right, to be able to have these conversations. And uh, something that jazzed me up so much is uh, one of the last meetings that I had was really purely based around building community. And I was like, fucking light bulb. That's what I'm doing in my own time too. So it's, it was just really jazzing for me. Um, and I'm also like filled with just butterflies right now because the last meeting that I had was with my baby niece Maeve, who just literally gives me tummy butterflies every time I think because she's so perfect. Um, and because I right now can't think of anything other than her, maybe we just pay a little respect to that. And uh, I'll share a little bit about what happened when I became an uncle for the first time. Um, so I myself do not have any blood uh, nieces or nephews at this current time. When I met Grace, I did get to meet the most kick-ass, badass, radical 16-year-old niece in the world, Anastasia. You're the real one. Hell yeah. Um, but getting the experience of new life was profound for me personally. Like, it, it's something that to this day, as I'm thinking about it, my chest is skipping beats because I'm, like, still trying to process and deal with those emotions. Um, quick breath. Okay, we'll take it together. Sorry, apparently this topic gets me very emotional. Um, when I saw the text for the first time that Maeve was brought into this world, I broke down. Uh, and everything kind of hit me at once. And it's all these things that, like, yes, I probably should have been thinking about, but my brain just never, never put two and two together. You know, I thought about, like, my future sister and brother-in-law brought a human into this world. They added to the human population, like, this is this is a person who's gonna be at my wedding this is a, i'm gonna be at her wedding like th there's there's so many levels to it that just hit me all at once wave after wave and i have to be completely honest all of that meant zilch to when i held her in my arms for the first time because in my lifetime i've held one other baby and it was one of grace's co-workers and this was my niece this was like this was different, this is a big one. And I, I had her, and I was so scared that she's so small and that I was gonna hurt her, but the second that she was in and I felt her breathing, I was calm, completely. And like, I just knew, oh, okay, this is what I'm doing now. This is why I'm here, nothing else matters. Nothing, nothing else matters. This is why I'm here. And it's like, especially, you know, 24 years old, I did make it out of teenage pregnancy scared years. Luckily, I am getting married, so even now, if anything were to happen, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'm not in a place where I'm ready to, you know, have a child of my own, but the, the development that I saw in myself just from knowing Mick being pregnant to Mick being a mother and how I've changed just 
in these month and a half, it's, it is profound and something that I am really going to reflect on for the rest of my life. And at this point, at least you guys got to listen to it for a little bit. So thank you for letting me talk your ear off. And I, I hope you have a great rest of your Monday.